positive leadership make a difference in my life, in my organization? Think of a continuum. Well, I'm going to call it a deviance continuum. In English, the word deviance has a negative connotation. If I call you a deviant, it's normally a criticism. But you can think of negative deviance, or you can think of positive deviance, extraordinary, unusual, that is unexpected, or deviant behavior, but or deviant situation, but positively so. Think of physical health. On the left-hand side of the continuum, we might call that negative deviance, or in physical health terms, it would be illness, diabetes, heart disease, the flu. In the middle of the continuum would be an absence of illness, or in other words, basic health, I'm fine. On the right-hand side of the continuum, positively deviant physical health might be Olympic fitness levels, the ability to run an Ironman competition or participate in an Ironman competition, or 5% body fat for men or 15% body fat for women. Psychologically, on the left-hand side, the negative deviant side, would be stress, burnout, problems. 90% of all psychological and, f and medical research focuses on the difference between the left-hand side and the middle. How do you get people to be absent illness? We're going to be focused on the difference between the middle and the right-hand side. In psychological terms, that might be a state of flow where you're using more of your brain capacity than normal. You lose track of time and physiological needs. You're extraordinarily highly performing. Positive leadership focuses on the right-hand side, the right-hand gap. I refer to those as abundance gaps as opposed to problem or deficit gaps. Now, what's interesting about focusing on the right-hand side of the continuum is when you focus on abundance gaps, something happens called the heliotropic effect. What's the heliotropic effect? Well, the heliotropic effect can be illustrated in the following way. If you put a plant in the window, over time it will lean toward the light, which is an example of the heliotropic effect. That is, every living system, everything alive, from single cell organisms to complex human systems, has a tendency toward the light and away from dark, or toward positive energy, away from negative energy, in the nature, the sun is the source of positive energy with photosynthesis and so on. Or most accurately defined, the heliotropic effect is every living system has a tendency toward that which is life-giving away from that which is life-depleting, which makes sense. Think of evolutionary processes. Everything alive is attracted to that which gives life, repelled by that which endangers or detracts from life. I want to illustrate why that's so crucial and why that's synonymous with positive leadership. That is, leading so that, helping pe so that you help people flourish is, in fact, what positive leadership is all about, unleashing the heliotropic effect. I'll give you evidence that the heliotropic effect exists and it makes a difference. Or, in other words, positive leadership is actually life-giving.